former interim national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, B.C. Akonde, has alluded to the fact that politicians with no other sources of livelihood may end up getting involved in corrupt acts in public office. Akonde, who was at the lecture organized to mark 94th birthday of the Second Republic Senator Ayo Fashomi, held in Oshobo, said many old generation politicians had been successful in their careers before venturing into politics. The APC chieftain noted that before Fashomi was elected as a senator, he had excelled as a pharmacist, adding that present day politicians with no other source of income would be tempted to engage in graft. Now, with me in the studio is uh, Dr. Dayo Kayode, who is a political analyst, to share his thought. Good morning, Dr. Dayo. Good morning. Uh, now, you've heard from the news uh, what uh, uh, Akonde said, that uh, politicians who don't have the means of like, uh, livelihood may likely engage in graft and uh, corrupt practices. What are your thoughts? Do you quite agree with that? Yeah, uh, let me also seize the opportunity to wish Papa Ayo Fasomi a happy birthday and uh, many more prosperous years ahead. Mm -hmm. um, as regards what uh, Papa B.C. Akonde said, to some extent, not to a large extent, to some extent it might be right because even at the time they were controlling the affairs of this country, mm -hmm. we also saw some kind of uh, infractions in terms of embezzling of our money. Other than they were, they were not exhibiting the kind of uh, garrulity that this crop of politicians are showing. Remember, some of them at that time, actually 79, even, even in the First Republic, some were accused of uh, some kind of uh, embezzlement. Mm -hmm. But if you are doing a kind of a comparative analysis of the amount embezzled then, you know, also then we have value for money mm -hmm. than now. You cannot compare uh, one pound, one pound then to one naira mm -hmm. of now. So, uh, to look at it properly, we have to look at it deeper rather than on the facial mm -hmm. value. But nonetheless, it is always better for people to have been granted very well in their chosen career before going into politics. Not because of, not that it will, it will shield them from graft and embezzlement though, mm -hmm. but rather they will have been exposed mm -hmm. to so many things of life, to so many ways of life, to some, uh, to some uh, occurrences in life. Because when you're just coming from school, as a, as a, a copper, mm -hmm. and then, bam, you join politics. Maybe you are being chosen as a, a commissioner or wherever. Such a person has got no experience. He doesn't know how the wind of life blows mm. to be able to understand what those that are following are, are passing through. You understand? So we, we need to look at it from that angle, from experience angle, not that it will shield them from, uh, from embezzlement. Okay. Presently, we have seen a lot of them who had, who, who had made names in their chosen careers and all that, but then being trusted with public fund. What are we seeing? Mm -hmm. So also we have seen people just from school and all that, probably because they have been part of, uh, part of the troublemakers within the environment and politicians have used them. They now want to say, okay, let us compensate you. We have seen what they have done in, uh, in, in, within the political circle. Okay, so so it, is beyond, it is beyond, 
it is beyond having a profession. Okay, so he also added that during his time, they contributed money for the party. But, you know, uh, the reverse is the case, so to speak, in this, uh, uh, this time. Do you think that if we go back to the way politics used to be in the times of uh, uh, B.C. Akonde, are we going to have a saner uh, society? Do you think uh, so? You see, there's no doubt about it that at that time, they were all contributing mm -hmm. to the money that the party was using then. But mind you, there are still some money bags within the party, even at that. Your contribution was just to make you have a kind of allegiance. Because where your treasure is, is where your mind will be, mm -hmm. according to that uh, adage. So I remember a few, few, few months ago, I still saw my father's uh, card, you know, that I used to pay for the party there, one shilling, one pence, this and all that. Do you understand? And it will be ticked. Some people will sign the passport photograph and all, you know. But even then, you see, have godfathers. Mm. You see, have godfathers, but not as enunciated as it is now, mm. not as proclaimed as it is now, whereby this day they will say, Baba, so we pay. Mm -mm, nothing like that then. When they want to do it, that's what we call the carcass within the carcass. Mm. You understand? The, the, the so-called Godfather will have discussed with an inner of the inner carcass. So it's those ones that we carry the message as if they are the one that are propagating it mm -hmm. to another carcass. Then do you understand before it gets to the to the fall? Or like now, somebody from the top will just say something and it will go straight down like that. And when you misbehave, it can fire you whichever way. Mm -hmm. But for us to stop all this wahala within our polity. The system has to work. Hmm. The system has to work. ICPC has to be independent. Really. Uh, the other one, what do you call it again? EFCC must be seen to be independent. And then they allow it to work on its own. The judicial system must be free. That is, we should have absolute separation of power. Mm -hmm. So when we have all that and all the systems are working, all the system is working, between you and me, mm -hmm. all these things, embezzlement and all that will stop. Imagine somebody telling the whole country, chairman of a party, that even if you are a sinner, the moment you come to my party, you are, you are clean. Mm -hmm. So what do you expect? All right, thank you so very much, uh, Dr. Dayo Kayode, uh, for your thoughts there.